Okay, so you're working on a, a part in SolidWorks and you're ready to send this off to uh, a lawyer to get, you know, to file for a patent or a provisional patent, whatever. Uh, your lawyer is not going to want a screenshot of your CAD. It's shaded um, and it's really hard to come across on a patent drawing. So what they really want is a line drawing. Uh, my lawyer specifically said he wanted a, uh, a drawing in a Visio format. What he really means is a drawing in an SVG format. So the way to get there, you can go file, uh, make new drawing from part, uh, turn off your display sheet format, nothing else really matters, and then you're going to want to drag in your part. Now, uh, select display style. You're going to want this line right here so you can see the dotted lines of what's behind the object. So you've got hard lines of what is directly in front of you, and these lines back here are your hidden lines. Uh, so go in, start dragging, you know, the parts that you want to come in, uh, in this case, it's the side, so you're not going to see the back. doesn't really matter. Uh, and then let's say we want a bottom view, just draw on the, or drag in the views that you want to send off in your drawing. So once you have that, you hit check mark, file, save, uh, save it as a DXF format, call it doorstop or whatever part you're making, save. Now open Corel. I'm using Corel because that's what I have, but I'm sure any SVG program will work. So open your DXF file. Okay. And there are our drawings. So open a new document, set it to uh, something around the ratio of the object you're drawing. Uh, I just have five by four. It doesn't really matter. Open it. Now go in and select each of your uh, parts, group objects. Because if you don't group objects, these come in as separate lines. So what you want to do is group them so that the whole object moves when you click it. Uh, it can get really frustrating if you don't do this, especially if you have a lot of lines in your part. So now select your part, copy, bring it into your new drawing, bring it somewhere down here. And if you want, you can scale it to be a little bit bigger. doesn't really matter. Hit file, save. And you're going to save this as an SVG file. Uh, in this case, it's the isometric view. So I have doorstop ISO view, replace it, hit OK. And then now in that folder, we have an SVG file that will even open up in uh, uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, open, openable in many programs, but in Internet Explorer. So let's go through that again. Uh, close all tabs, fine. So we're back here. We open a new document, hit OK. Select our object, hit copy, paste it in, drag it somewhere in the middle or wherever, somewhere within the document. If you want to make it bigger, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Save. Save it as an SVG file. This is actually a bottom view, so I'm going to call it bottom view. Hit save. Hit OK. And then in our folder, we now have bottom view, and this will now open as an SVG file in Excel or uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, so, yep, that is the way to go from SolidWorks to a format that you're a line drawing that your lawyer may use for a provisional patent. Good luck.